That's crazy. So in your um, opinion, do you think the Amazon uh, union effort is going to be successful? Yeah, uh, I do. Um, you know, there's a lot of people who just been fed up with how they've been treated. You know, they feel like they want more pay. Um, you know, just better overall protection, especially job security. You know, like Amazon can drop you just like that. And, you know, it's a very rough time right now. You know, um, coronavirus has been, you know, took over the whole world. So a lot of people, um, you know, are scared to lose their jobs. So, yeah. I will say this, many people, especially in my facility, would love for union, but are they scared to step forward? Yes, because the stigma here is that this is a, this is a big city. This is New York City. They could fire a thousand people and just as easily have a brand new set of thousand people. And with Alabama, you know, I can see how it is a little harder for them because, you know, if you're in a remote area, you know, you can't fire and recycle as many people. So here, it's just the fact that you are definitely 100% expendable. But what I can say is, I know many people that would be more than willing to vote for a union the second it comes up. And I feel like Alabama, if they pass, is a big step forward to those people being able to be like, you know what? Clearly, like, this can happen. You know, I feel like it would help people come out of the woodwork and be like, you know what? We can do this. Like, for most people, it's that they were afraid, they're afraid to lose their jobs. And literally, as I was going out to the protest, because I had worked a couple of hours that day, and then I put in my hours, and I clocked out, and I went across the street to participate in the protest. And there were many people that said, oh, yeah, yeah like, I would love to go, but, you know, I'm, I don't want to get fired, so I'm staying out of that. You know, and that's the stigma, which is horrible, that yeah. you are fearful for your job just because you want to stand up for you know, you know, like for the pay cap, for unionizing. And it's just ridiculous that that's the way that people feel like they can't unite yeah. without being, you know, being fired or you're losing their, their income, which is horrible. It is horrible. You know, it's really unfortunate, too, because we had much stronger unions a few decades ago and they've been weakened, weakened and weakened more. And originally for those unions to become the strength that they were mid-century took a lot of effort. It took fighting. It took people yeah. li absolutely losing their lives fighting for unions. So yeah, it's, it's ironic. It's ironic because uh, we had had another protest, me and the Congress of Essential Workers. It is started by Chris Smalls. Yes. We had actually participated in a, a protest in Harlem. And uh, there were a bunch of unions there. We were all supporting the Alabama. And... One, one of them made a valid point that every time that this country goes through, um, let's say, an economic depression, which is obviously what happened after COVID, you know, our, our system went down, that unions were always on the rise after such thing because employees felt that, you know what, the billionaires aren't the people that kept this country running while we were do going through this. It was, it was us, the, the, the regular workers that, that are seen as less than, as the lower class or the middle class. And we kept this country running, not the billionaires, not the, not the politicians. It was the workers that spent every day risking their lives to, you know, to bring essential items, health, health care, deliveries, everything. And I feel like that really makes people value themselves more as, it's, as opposed to just a regular worker. They're like, no, what I do, to this, what I do for this country is, is essential. Yeah, you know, and absolutely. I feel like that helps unions rise. And I really hope that that mindset kind of bursts out, especially now in my generation, because I'm only 23 years old. And I really hope that yeah. my generation is one to bring back this, this form of, you know, of worker or workers having power of like, where, you know, we stand together against big business that seeks to take advantage of us. To say that, you know, Amazon always says that they care about their, you know, their customers, you know, like the customers and all this and the third, and how much they care about us. But honestly, I've had times where people have gone through very intense family issues. I even have a coworker of mine that struggles with depression. And one day she was at work and she was written up twice by the same manager. And she just started bawling there at her station. And it was just the fact that they didn't even seem to like, you know, ask me like, hey, are you okay? Like there are, some, I'm not gonna say that all managers are like that. There are. Many managers that are very kind, very caring, but as a company, as a whole, 
They do not care. If you have something very brutal going on in your life, something that is mentally just destroying you, like say you having depression or, you know, being at Amazon can be a very, can be a very taxing thing, both physically and emotionally. You feel very alone. You know, you're kind of isolated, especially the way that they want you to work. You know, and it's just, insane that they don't really care as much as they say they do. Like there are people that have physical pains from working there for so long, mental pains, you know, of just isolation and, you know, feeling alone. And they never seem to care about that. You could literally tell them that, Oh, like I'm feeling very depressed right now. Like it's like, I'm, I don't feel like, like I just can't do this specific thing. And certain managers will tell you like, Oh, that sucks. But you no, know, if you have time, you can go home. But if not, there's nothing I can do for you. Hope you enjoyed that last video. Hop on over to statusquo.com where you could sign up for our email list and become a member for as low as five to ten dollars a month. Membership is how we grow. That's statusquo.com slash join. And remember, join our email list so we can grow the revolution with you.